Today, I want to address the question, what happens if I take a settlement and I'm being told that I need to resign from my job? So first off, don't take it personally. In workers' comp, oftentimes, people think that when they're presented with a resignation in conjunction with the settlement, it means the employer wants them gone or the insurance wants them gone. Technically, the, the insurance wants you gone. And the reason for that is because normally when the insurance company does what's called a CNR settlement, meaning that they give you a lump sum of money, not only for your permanent disability, but to buy out your medical care as well, they want to know that you're not going to come back to work and get hurt the next day. So for example, if they gave you $100,000, 50 of which was for future medical treatment for your back, and you go back to the same employer that that insurance company provides coverage for the next day, and you hurt your back again, the insurance company may be liable for treatment again, which then defeats the whole purpose of them paying you out in the first place. So while they can't demand your resignation, oftentimes it's asked for. And at the same time, the insurance company is not obligated to buy out your future medical care. There is nothing that we can do as an attorneys to force them to give you money for the medical care. If you were to drag them to court and get an award via trial, it would result in an open medical care award and nothing more. The judge itself does not have power to award you uh, money in lieu of medical care. And so because you can't demand that they pay out your medical care and they can't demand that you provide a resignation, it's generally considered a bargain for exchange. And oftentimes it really depends on the situation. Some people are planning to leave anyways, and so resigning is not a big deal. Other times people are in a position that they've loved and cherished and they worked hard for the, for decades, sometimes longer, and they don't really want to give up their job, especially if the amount of money they're receiving is quite frankly less than adequate. And so oftentimes it's something that really needs to be discussed and thought about. But just know they can't actually demand your resignation. But since you can't demand that they buy out your medical care and that's something you want, you may have to make an exchange there. Now, like I said, it's the insurance company that wants you gone, usually not your employer. And oftentimes we've had clients who resign from their employment and once they've given the resignation to their employer, the employer says, what are you doing? We love you, you've been here forever and we want you back. And they go back to work the next day. And so oftentimes, there's nothing that the insurance company can do about it. They're stuck. There's no legal ramifications from you submitting a resignation and going back to work the next day. Oftentimes, you'll see that insurance companies have this weird language where they'll say, oh, you promise not to seek employment there in the future. But what's their redress? What are their remedies? Nothing. They can't force you to stay out of there. If your employer wants you back, they can hire you back. And that's the end of it. And so I've seen it quite a bit where an angry employer actually demands that our client go back to work because they love them so much. And so they got their job back and it was the perfect deal because the employee got their medical buyout, they got their settlement and they got back to work and the insurance company couldn't do anything about it. So it was a great result all around.